I have a basic HTML document here that I'm going to publish on the internet. Notice it's called index.html. Opening in Adobe Brackets, you can see it's just a basic HTML document. Let's preview this in a browser. From our hosts cPanel, let's go to the file manager. For now, choose the home directory. This is the home directory. All files that you want visible and accessible on the internet, you place inside of public HTML. This is the root folder associated with my web address. If I go to my web address now, all we'll see is a just host placeholder page because I do not yet have any HTML documents in my root folder. Let's add an HTML document. While in public HTML, I'm going to upload my HTML document. Notice it's called index.html. As you can see, the file is done uploading. Let's go back inside public HTML, and you can see there is index.html, which the browser will read as the home page. Notice that you can actually click the code editor here within the cPanel's file manager and edit the HTML directly. Let's go to the web address associated with this folder. And there we go. Notice that the web address is justinswebsitedemo.com and not index.html. The browser will know that index.html is intended to be the home page. Let's delete this file now. Now let's add another web page to a subdirectory. I have a one page website that I've built here. As you can see, the location right now is on my desktop, and that you can see index.html. Let's create a subdirectory. All we do is create a new folder. I'm going to call this MART391. And there's our new folder. Let's upload our new web page into this MART391 folder. As you can see, there are multiple files in here, so the easiest thing to do is to compress all files into one zip file. This is because you can only upload one file at a time through the cPanel file manager and so this way is more efficient. Now that the file is complete, we can go back to the cPanel's file manager, select the zip file, and then click Extract. Notice that it's going to extract it into the MART391 folder. Once extraction is complete, you won't see anything yet. You have to click Reload. And here's our images folder and our index.html folder. I'm going to delete the zip file. The Mac OS X folder is generated by Mac OS X, and you can actually ignore that file for now. So notice that we are in public HTML, and then inside of the MART391 folder. Let's view this on the internet. So we type in my web address which is associated with the public HTML root folder, and then we type in MART391. And there we go.